Welcome back to my channel. As promised, I have the half double crochet stitching and the double crochet stitching for you guys today. Um, I hope the first video was helpful in any way, shape, or form. Uh, just a little side note, if I sound a little funny, I have my retainers in. I just got my braces taken off, so I'm trying to get adjusted to them. But, just let, let's jump into the video. Like I said, we have the half double crochet stitching and the double crochet stitching. As you can see here, I have the same ball of yarn and the same hook from the last video. Um, we're going to be doing the half double crochet, double crochet stitching. But first, I want to show you two swatches that I have. This is your half double crochet swatch. And then this one is your double crochet swatch. Excuse me again, sorry. Um, as you can see, the difference in the stitching. This one has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can clearly see the difference in both and the length and the width of both of them. So you're going to grab your yarn and like in the previous video, we're going to make a knot to start our slip knot. I just do I just do a basic knot like I said in the previous video tighten it around the hook we're going to do a total of 12 chains but first let's do 10 and it will add two so again you're going to wrap your yarn around the hook pull through that's one wrap pull two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're going to block off the tenth chain and we're going to do two more eleven twelve now that we have our chains we're going to do a half double crochet which is wrap the yarn around the hook and you're going to insert into that one that you blocked off Grab the yarn, pull through, wrap the yarn around the hook again, and pull through all loops on the hook. That's a half double crochet. Again, you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, put it through the chain stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, wrap around, and pull through all loops on the hook. Half double crochet. Let's do it again. Wrap, put into the chain, grab, pull through, wrap around, pull through all loops on the hook. Let's continue to do so till we get to the end. Okay, we've come up to the last chain stitching. So again, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through the, the chain, grab the yarn, pull through again, wrap again, and pull through all loops on the chain, on the hook. And here you have your half double crochet stitching. Now to get to the next row, you can either do one chain up or two chains up. I prefer to do two chains, but that's just my preference. <laughs> two chains. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to do one, two. You're going to turn your work. You're going to enter your hook into this next stitch right here. So wrap around, put through the chain. I'm sorry, the stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, wrap around, pull through all loops on the hook. Half double crochet. Let's continue. Wrap, pull through, grab, pull through again, wrap, pull through, 
go through all loops. Wrap, pull through, grab, pull through, wrap, pull through all. Sorry if y'all heard that. I'm kind of hungry, <laughs> to be honest. Wrap, pull through, grab, pull through, pull through all. So it's pretty simple. Now we got to the last one. This last little stitch right here. Pull through, grab, pull through again, wrap around, pull through. And there you go. That should have double crochet stitching. This is the back. And then this is the front. So the goal is just to go across. Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. To get to however long you have your, your chain. And that's the goal. Go back and forth, back and forth. Of course, these stitches can be worked in the round. Um, working in the round is pretty simple as well. It's the back and forth, around and around. So next up, we'll have the double crochet stitching. Okay, now we're back with our double crochet stitching. I switched the color so you guys can see the difference between the stitching once you're done with your project. Um, it's like a gold yellow color. So first we're going to do our slip knot, which you guys should already know how to do. I just do a basic knot, tighten the knot, insert your hook, tighten it. This is how I do it. Everybody has their method of doing it, but that's how I do it. We're going to do again 12 stitching, 12 chains, I'm sorry, and we're going to begin. So you're going to do your chain, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're going to block off two. Oh. One, two. I do want to mention to you guys to not do your chain stitching too tight because you won't be able to insert your hook when you're going to the next stage as far as your stitching goes so make sure your chain is not super super tight because it'll prevent you from moving on to the next step so right, when you say you blocked off two what do you mean blocked off two? Oh, well I meant to say I blocked off that tenth one to add two so this is the tenth one and then I added two more chains as a beginner I'm confused as a beginner you're confused Okay, let's do it again then. Let's pull out the chain. So here is your knot. Let's do it again. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is your tenth chain right here. We're going to block off this one just to add two more because this is the one that you're going to insert your double crochet stitch in. So, one, two. So, one, two. Got it? So, now we're going to do our double crochet. You're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, enter it into that stitch that you blocked. It, does that make sense to you now? You're going to grab your yarn. Pull through, wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through the first one. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> wrap it around the hook, insert, grab, wrap, pull through the first two, wrap, pull, to, pull through. Again, wrap, pull through the chain stitch grab pull through wrap pull through the first two chains wrap pull through 
that is a double crochet let's do it again insert grab pull through pull through the first two wrap again pull through wrap insert grab pull through wrap pull through the first two wrap pull through the second two and continue on We're coming up on our last two chains. I'm gonna wrap, pull through, grab, pull through again, wrap, pull through the first two, wrap, pull through the last two. The last one, wrap, pull through, grab, pull through again, wrap, pull through, wrap, and pull through. And there you have it, your double crochet stitching. Now we're going to go up one more row so I can show you how to go back across. Now I'm going to show you how to go up to the second row. Some people prefer to do two chains or three. Either or works. I think the three chains makes for a cleaner stitching seam line of whatever you're doing. It makes the work cleaner. It doesn't really matter. You can do two or three. I'm going to do three. So, going to chain up three, one, two, three. I'm going to turn your work. Now you're going to insert your hook into this first stitch right there, the first stitch. So wrap your yarn around your hook, insert, grab, pull back through, wrap, pull through the first two, wrap, pull through the second two wrap pull through grab wrap around pull two through pull through and just continue on until you get to the end and i'm sorry if this seems like i'm going very fast i've just been doing it for so long i'm so just used to my speed if you have any questions you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I hope that it comes off as good enough speed for you guys. I'm gonna slow down a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Wrap, pull through, grab, pull through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through, grab, Pull through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through. Again, coming up on the last, believe it or not, these are two more stitches. <clears throat> so we're going to do it again. Wrap, pull through, grab. So that first chain of the 10 that we did, of the 12 that we did, left us a space to enter a stitch right here. So that's what we're going to do wrap around pull through grab wrap pull through wrap pull through and there you have it this is your double crochet stitching this is the front you can always tell it's the front from the way your tail from which way your tail is this is the front this is the back because I'm right-handed my tail is going to be in my left hand when it's in the front and it's going to be in my right hand when it's in the back now here are the two stitches two swatches of crochet stitches this is your half double your double same length we did 12 across two rows up see the difference in the sizing so 
when it comes time to do your patterns, make sure that you're doing the right stitching. HDC stands for half double crochet. DC stands for double crochet. And SC stands for single crochet. So, there, there you have it. I hope these videos were helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said, um, thank you for watching. And I'll be back for the next one very soon. Bye-bye.